One of the most exciting players that nobody's been talking about in this draft is Mario Alford, or as West Virginia fans call him, Super Mario. Alford is a multi-talented offensive weapon with speed to spare. There may be some general managers that don't want him because of his height, 5'8", but some of the most creative and less limiting offensive coordinators will look to T.Y. Hilton, Andrew Hawkins, Steve Smith, and Antonio Brown as a model of how special this kid could become. Of those four players I've mentioned, only two of them possess a season with 10 or more receiving touchdowns, and Steve Smith and Antonio Brown have only done that once in their careers. For that reason, our perception that smaller players are more likely to be injured, I expect the offer's value in the draft to be limited. He very well may be limited to the third round or later. My firm belief is that is a mistake. The speed and versatility that a player like Alford brings to an offense makes that offense much less predictable, so much harder to plan for, and far more explosive. My belief is that ideally you play shorter, dynamic players anytime you're not snapping the ball within your own 20-yard line, the red zone, which is the only time their height becomes a certain flaw. That is not to mention the awesome potential he possesses as a returner. While I don't see Alford listed among the top 10 or maybe even 20 receivers on most mock drafts, his value is certainly there. Alford ran a 4-2-7 as pro day, catches the ball with his hands, has experience as a running back, consistently wins jump balls, has the ability to create explosive plays on short to intermediate throws, and he can absolutely scorch the earth on deep routes. There have been remarks about his ability to digest a playbook, and how special his quick pitch ab twitch ability is. The natural concern is actually that it tends to take shorter players more time to learn how to be effective in an NFL offense. None of these is a factor for me, because Alfred's effort has not been questioned, and his full-time job is now to prepare to play in an NFL offense. Well, it may take him some time to figure out how to be special as a uh, special player at receiver. That is typically the case with all receivers. I feel a little silly mentioning how Alford could be a boom to the Carolina offense if he dedicates himself to the game, much like another diminutive receiver Carolina has loved in their recent past. He can give Carolina a remarkable weapon, much like they had when Steve Smith was the show in black and teal. If Carolina somehow were able to snag Alford outside their first two picks, he immediately upgrades their speed at receiver, makes your offense more versatile, and makes your team far more explosive for a great value. 